Hi, tonight we're reading Thomas the Tank Engine. This is the first four stories, I believe. And Thomas the Stuffed Animal is here too. Oh, look at that face. That is a face of Thomas. And it looks like Linda's face. Yeah, what he said. Thomas the Tank Engine. Contains four stories by Reverend W. Audrey. Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine. There's a little note that uh, Reverend Audrey wrote to uh, Christopher. First story, Thomas and Gordon. Thomas was a tank engine who lived at a big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. He was a fussy little engine always pulling coaches about. He pulled them to the station ready for the big engines to take out on long journeys. And when trains came in and the people got out, he would pull the empty coaches away so that the big engines could go and rest. Thomas was a cheeky little engine too. He thought no engine worked as hard as he did, so he used to play tricks on them. He liked best of all to come quietly beside a big engine dozing on a siding and make him jump. Beep, 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 wake up, lazy bones, he would whistle. Why don't you work hard like me? Then he would laugh rudely and run away to find some more coaches. What a cheeky little engine. One day, Gordon was resting on a siding. He was very tired. The big express he always pulled had been late, and he had to run as fast as he could to make up for lost time. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones, he whistled. Do some hard work for a change. You can't catch me. And he ran off laughing. Instead of going to sleep again, Gordon thought of how he could get Thomas back. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His driver and fireman man couldn't make him start. He went out, oh, his fire went out, and there was not enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh dear, oh dear, he yawned. Come on, said the coaches, hurry up. Thomas gave them a rude little bump and started for the station. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, he grumbled. Where have you been, where have you been, asked the coaches crossly. Thomas fussed into the station where Gordon was waiting. Boop, boop, boop. Hurry up, Gordon, said crossly. Peep, pip, peep. Hurry yourself, said cheeky Thomas. Yes, said Gordon, I will. And almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of his siding and was coupled to the train. Boop, boop, he whistled. Get in quickly. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down. The clock struck the hour. The guard waved his green flag. And Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pushed the big trains to help him start, but he was always uncoupled first so that when the train was running nicely, he could stop and go back. This time he was late, and Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. Poop, poop, said Gordon. Beep, 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 whistled Th Thomas. Come on, come on, puffed Gordon to the coaches. Pull harder, pull harder, puffed Thomas to Gordon. The heavy train slowly began to move out of the station. The train went faster and faster, too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Peep, peep, stop, stop, he whistled. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon in the front. You can't get away, you can't get away, laughed the coaches. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. He was out of breath, and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. I shall never be the same again, he thought sadly. My wheels will be quite worn out. Yeah. There he is, stuck the coach is coupled up. Yeah. Let's see what happens next. Okay. At last, they stopped at the station. Everyone laughed to see pa Thomas puffing and panting behind. They uncoupled him and put him on a turntable, and he ran on to a siding out of the way. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon as he passed, you know what hard work means. Now you know what hard work means, don't you? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly away the rest 
away to rest and had a long, long drink. He went home very slowly and was careful afterward to never be cheeky to Gordon again. Okay, that's the end of this story. We'll do the, the next ones the following evening, so look out for that. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh... I want to do this one. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next video. videos that come up. Well, we're all done there. Tomorrow we'll be doing Thomas's Train. Goodbye. Good night. Do you want to say any last things, Darwin? Don't forget to have some subscribe.